Crypto as an asset class is highly volatile. It's for people with a high tolerance for risk and who understand they can lose the entire value of their investment. Crypto may be more susceptible to market manipulation than securities. Crypto is not insured by the FDIC or protected by the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. Also, investors in crypto do not benefit from the same regulatory protections applicable to registered securities like stocks or bonds. Fidelity Crypto is offered by Fidelity Digital Assets. Brokerage accounts and securities trading are provided by Fidelity Brokerage Services, which does not offer crypto as a direct investment or provide trading or custody service for such assets. Throughout this live stream, you may hear terms like cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many more. Keep in mind, the digital asset space is vast. Flowing, interactive conversations like this one may use words like crypto or digital assets as substitution terms for specific coins or for the ecosystem as a whole. Remember, all coins and tokens have very different attributes and use cases, and the ones we talk about here are only part of a wide variety of digital assets in existence. Hey there, thank you for joining us and for taking time to learn how to use a Fidelity crypto account. I'm Jim Armstrong with Fidelity. All right, it is now time to talk about how to trade with Fidelity crypto. So, so far we've walked you through how to open a Fidelity crypto account, how to move money from your external bank account to your Fidelity brokerage account, and ultimately move that money into your Fidelity crypto account. So next, let's give D what they asked for when they sent in this request for a step-by-step -step explanation of how to purchase crypto if you have a brokerage account, which by the way, I'll stop and say is a great reminder that you do need a Fidelity brokerage account offered by Fidelity Brokerage Services, as well as a Fidelity crypto account offered by Fidelity Digital Assets to purchase crypto. Uh, with that in mind, Philip sent in a question when he registered for the live stream asking, is crypto easy to trade with Fidelity? Uh, we like to think it is, it sure is, Philip. So here we go, let me share my screen again. I'll share my screen and I will show you how to buy crypto again using this test account on our website. You're going to start on our homepage again where all of your accounts are listed. Under accounts and trade, you can select trade and that's going to give you a nice full screen view of a trade ticket. But let me show you a quick shortcut as well in case it's more convenient for you. You could just select this trade button here on this black ribbon right at the top of your screen. And it's going to give you essentially the same thing, but just in a smaller form. For today's purposes, though, we'll go accounts and trade and then down to trade right here. So you'll select crypto under trade. There it is. There's your Fidelity crypto account. And it's telling you that you have uh, $39.39 to trade with. Now select what cryptocurrency you want to trade. They're typically just displayed as the abbreviation for the cryptocurrency slash USD. Um, so for example, oh, Bitcoin. BTC slash USD. These three are popping up because I already uh, have positions in each of those coins in this particular test account, but you can also just type it in manually if you wanted to. Bitcoin slash USD, there it is. Um, and that's how you would get that listed. Now it's going to give me lots of information right away, including what the current price of Bitcoin is and how much it's moved today, for example, as well as a lot of other information. Now in this example, we want to buy. So I'm just going to click buy. And I do want to note really quickly, by the way, Fidelity Digital Assets does charge a 1% spread on all buys and sells. I want to say that out loud for right now, but I'm going to go into detail and explain exactly what that means, means in just a moment. I can buy in dollars or I can buy in coin, but let's say I want to buy in dollars. Let's say I want to buy $20 worth of Bitcoin. Type 20 in there. It tells me that I already own, by the way, $22.22 .22 worth of Bitcoin. And then I, I can decide whether I not whether I want to buy a market order, use a market order or a limit order. So I click on market. And what that means is uh, I want to buy at the current price. So in this instance, you can see my estimated cost is $20, inclusive of my 1% uh, spread. 
And then there's the estimated Bitcoin, the number of Satoshis I will receive when my order fills. Now, alternatively, you can buy using coins, the percentage of a coin you want. So let's say you're in the market for half a Bitcoin, 0.5. See with that, that's an estimated uh, $31,355. So if I were so inclined and if I had that much available to trade, uh, that's how I would buy half a Bitcoin, for example. Let's say I want to go much smaller than that and buy... Uh, 20,000 Satoshis, right? The last few zeros uh, don't matter. It goes out to eight decimal places. But in this case, that's going to cost me about 1250 if I were so inclined to do that. Let's go ahead and go back to dollars, dollar amount, 20. Here it is again, estimated cost, estimated Bitcoin. It's a market order. And I can go right there, hit preview order. And there it is. It's going to tell me in my Fidelity crypto account, I'm going to buy... Bitcoin, market price, $20, and here's the estimated amount I will receive. Now, let me go back and show you how to do a limit order as well, because it's similar but different. Crypto is your what you'll be trading. Let's, uh, to mix it up a little bit, let's do Ether. How about that? Now, let's say I want to buy Ether. So I'll click buy, dollars. Um, and I want to buy $20 worth of Ether. But right now I see the price of ETH is $2,445. And maybe I feel like that's a little bit more than I'd like to spend. So I'll set a limit price at $2,000. So what I'm telling the system here is that I'd like to buy $20 worth of Ether when the overall price of Ethereum uh, drops to $2,000. Preview that order. And here you'll see this order ticket here um, explaining what uh, what's what's happening with that particular order uh, with the caveat, of course, that a limit order doesn't necessarily have to fill. It might not in this case. Ether might not today fall to below two thousand um, dollars, meaning the order wouldn't fill and I would not have bought any ETH today. Let me walk you through uh, the steps to do this exact same thing over on the Fidelity Investments app as well, with a reminder that you do need to be using uh, the most up-to-date, the most updated version of the Fidelity app. Now, first you'll log in and select the transact icon in the navigation menu, which is that green button right in the middle at the bottom. On the next uh, menu, the transact menu, you're going to choose trade, which is the image on the far left that has the arrows pointed in both directions. Um, after which you'll be asked to enter the cryptocurrency symbol or name again. So in this instance, we'll do uh, Bitcoin BTC slash USD, tap buy at the bottom. And again, you can choose between buying in dollars or buying in coin. You'll just tap the word uh, dollars near the top of the screen on the next screen that uh, will allow you to toggle between the two. So see here, it's 20 under dollars uh, on the uh, Fidelity Investments app. You can hit dollars and it would turn to BTC or vice versa. Also in the upper right of the screen, you can pick a market order to execute immediately or a limit order to execute when your target price is reached inclusive of that 1% spread. And again, more on that spread in just a moment. Uh, of course, I do want to say again, if you choose limit here, you would have to enter your limit price. Um, in this example, just to show you uh, what that would look like, I did a limit order, uh, but I put in $60,000 as our strike price. So that's on the next next screen there. In that case, it was because that was uh, $2,700 or so uh, below what was at then the current price. And as you'll see throughout the experience, there's links to help you answer your questions. Uh, as, as you're progressing through the process. In this example, uh, you would select continue and get to the review screen to confirm your order here. I switched back to the $20 market order for simplicity's sake. You, you'll see the amount of Bitcoin I'm estimated to buy and the price at which Bitcoin is trading at the moment. And on the Fidelity Investments mobile app, you will place your order simply by sliding the button at the bottom of your screen to the right. So that's buying digital assets. Before we get to selling digital assets, which we'll do in just a second, I do want to respond, to, uh, get back to this other common question that we get, which is what does it cost to trade with Fidelity Crypto? Uh, when Lori registered for the live stream, she wrote in and asked us that very question. She wants to know what are the fees or spread for buying crypto through Fidelity? 
So as I just alluded to a moment ago, Fidelity Crypto charges a 1% spread for all buy and sell transactions. A spread is the difference between your execution price and the price at which Fidelity Crypto buys or sells your order. Let me go back to sharing my screen to show you uh, exactly where you can find that information as well. Now, here's the trade ticket that we just left off on uh, a couple of moments ago. And you can see, you've probably already seen it elsewhere, and you'll see it more. There's this link that allows you to click on the Fidelity crypto fee and other disclosures. And here you'll see it uh, explained there. And you can take your time to read it in depth. But at a high level, uh, what it's saying is Fidelity Digital Assets also will not separately calculate and disclose the spread earned on the trade commission screen. It's already factored into your into your buy and sell price that you're seeing on this particular screen. I want to point out too that, that Fidelity Digital Assets does not charge any management fees. There are no storage fees for maintaining custody of, of customers' digital assets. You will pay that 1% spread on any buy or sell order, whether it's market or limit, and that's it. All right, now let's take a look at selling. You will actually set up your trade ticket like you did before and go to trade. Um, only rather than, than buy, you are going to click sell. Go down to crypto, see your account pop up in a second. Uh, symbol, let's, let's stick with Bitcoin again for simplicity's sake, and you want to click sell right there very similar to what we just did once again you have the option to sell a specific dollar amount or a specific coin amount and the trade ticket as you can see here will tell you how much you have of either you can also choose sell all if you want to sell out of your position entirely or you can specify an amount uh, to sell less than that and again you can choose to, to sell a market order to execute immediately or a limit order to to sell when and if the coin hits the target that you set. So let's set a market order in dollars. Let's say I want to sell $20 of that, uh, $20 of Bitcoin at the market price, which is going to go immediately. And again, here you'll see a, a confirmation uh, with an estimated value, the estimated amount of Bitcoin you're about to sell, which again includes that 1% spread that I talked about a moment ago. Uh, again, here's that, that link, the Fidelity Crypto Fee and other disclosures link that you could check out to learn more about it. Uh, you'll preview the order, uh, review it, and place it if everything looks the way you want it to, or you can you can edit it or cancel it if you wanted to start over. I also point out too that if you want to move move money after you sell your digital assets, if you want to move money back to your bank account, you just reverse the process that we did to get it there in the first place. So you can go to your portfolio screen. It's always nice to go back to one consistent place if you're interested in, in starting over and taking a look at how to get something done. Transfer, uh, if you're looking to move it out of your individual account back to your bank, it's electronic funds transfer to or from a bank. And you would just, again, reverse the process that you did but because you're transferring between Fidelity and your bank. The, the account you would be transferring from in this case uh, would be your individual account. Because remember, uh, the Fidelity crypto account does not offer direct transfers to and from your external bank. Everything goes through your, your individual or brokerage account. So you would go from your individual account. Here it's telling me I've got about $53.20 uh, available to transfer. And then again, if you had a bank link, your external bank would show up here and you'd be able to do it that way. All right, let's go ahead now and show you how to sell using the Fidelity investments app select the transact and transact icon in the navigation menu again that's that green circle right in the middle with the dollar sign on your next uh, menu the transact menu uh, click on or tap on trade then you'll enter or tap the the cryptocurrency symbol or name in this case it's going to be we'll, we'll use bitcoin btc slash usd uh, and here you will tap the sell button at the bottom now it's going to ask you to choose an account on the next screen and there you'll see your fidelity crypto account which is what you will choose and after you do that again you have the option uh to to sell in dollars or sell in coin um, on the next screen you'll see that here it's where we've got btc near the top of the screen you would tap on that to toggle between the two options in this example let's sell in coin 
So it's going to tell me what I own. In this case, it's about 35,000 Satoshis. So let's say I want to sell 20,000 Satoshis or sats with an estimated value of, of roughly $12.70 displayed here to review. Uh, just as a reminder, in the upper right, you can pick a market order to execute immediately or a limit order, which you can do to execute, uh, set to execute when your target price is reached inclusive of that 1% spread. Of course, if you choose limit order, you'll have to enter your limit price as well. Uh, tap review at the bottom to confirm uh, your order. On the next screen, you'll review all of your details and disclosures and then place your sell order once again on the Fidelity Investments app by sliding the button at the bottom of your screen to the right. All right, as we start to wrap up, uh, let's take a look at some viewer questions. Sheree wants to know, how much do I need to get started? Uh, and David has a similar question. How do I invest in crypto without a lot of money? Well, as, as I hope you could see in our test account here, you can start learning about crypto and making trades with very small amounts of money. The, the minimum trade uh, in a Fidelity crypto account is $1. And for a lot of folks, that, that slow start, that learning by doing certainly does help them get more comfortable with this process and with the digital assets space in general. And you definitely, definitely, to David's question, do not need a lot of money to make that happen by any stretch. Um, here's another great question uh, that came in from Michery, or Michery, hope I'm saying that right, um, whether you're, you're just getting started or you have been trading digital assets for a while, which is, how do I perform fundamental research on a crypto? So I'm going to share my screen again and show you exactly how to do that. Um, starting off on fidelity.com is, is great. As always, you can head over to fidelity.com slash crypto for this page, uh, which is, uh, again, a fantastic resource to help you get comfortable and to learn, again, not just about doing business with Fidelity Crypto and, and opening and funding and trading within an account, but it also helps you uh, figure out basics about crypto in general. And that's a really great feature of this particular account, of this particular offering. Fidelity, let me show you this, fidelity.com slash crypto basics is a potentially really great resource for folks who are just starting to learn out to learn about crypto lots of articles infographics and videos neatly organized for you to spend just a couple of minutes at a time getting more confident about the world of cryptocurrencies and digital assets now, let's say you're feeling a little bit more confident and the basics aren't, uh, aren't exactly what you're looking for. We also have fidelity.com slash crypto advanced. You can find that link right here on the basics page. And links to everything that I'm talking about here are always going to be found on fidelity.com slash crypto, which is why I've mentioned that so many times. But here's the, the Beyond the Basics page where you're going to have access to, to articles and other assets that go a little bit deeper and help you figure out more about the digital asset space when you're ready to, to take that leap. I also want to show you the, the news and research tab. Click on this, which you can find on fidelity.com slash crypto and elsewhere. News and research, and then go down to crypto. To so Michelle's question, there's, there's lots of information here that's going to help you do that fundamental research and help you get more comfortable. This is uh, There's a lot here about crypto in general. I, I won't walk you through the whole thing, but it's, it's worth, I think, spending a lot of time getting comfortable with this page and, and learning what it has to offer. In particular, head over here to this Enhance Your Crypto Knowledge box, check out Chart Plus, learn more there. And it's going to take you to a great article that tells you what Fidelity Chart Plus is, because you'll often encounter a lot of, of charts when, when learning more about cryptocurrencies. Chart Plus is a, a fidelity tool that really helps you get comfortable in that space and helps you learn how to read these charts and how to make sense of them and how to help them, have them help you make your decisions. There's Chart Plus for Bitcoin and Chart Plus for Ethereum. You can open that, check it out, and you'll start to learn again uh, lots, lots more information about all the different charts available and how to read those charts, how to make sense of them. And again, that's all available starting at fidelity.com slash crypto. 
Uh, if it were me, that's that's the one page I would bookmark because from fidelity.com slash crypto, you can continue to learn uh, everything you need to know about cryptocurrencies and sign up for any future live streams as well. Thanks for making time to be with us today. And we hope to see you soon.